What's up, Web Devies? It's been a while. I'm glad to be back here with you. We're going to do a little what we call JavaScript. So inside of your account folders, create a new folder called JS. JS is the short code for JavaScript. And um, you know we have HTML, PHP, now we got JS for JavaScript. And create a new file called alert.html. I'm going to go ahead and open up that file. I'm just going to make my type a little bit bigger here so that everybody could see it really easily. All right. Strip out all this other stuff that we don't need so I can get me something closer to hater TML5. All right, so go ahead and uh, create what I've got here, which is basically just a title and um, an H1 message here. Um, get that up and going in H1, and then we'll do a little paragraph. All right, so now we have our basic HTML. And what's, uh, the way JavaScript works is very similar to CSS. And when we work with CSS, we could either add our CSS in a separate file. Um, excuse me one second. Hey! Shut the face. All right, excuse me for that, YouTube visit visitors. Um, what we've got here is a situation where we could put our JavaScript inside of our HTML or we could store our JavaScript as something separate. And what we're going to learn to, to do here is the most single annoying thing you could possibly do in JavaScript, which is something called the alert box. Um, if we're going to write JavaScript inside of our actual HTML, then we have to use a, an HTML tag called the script tag. And this is what the script tag looks like. And inside of this, we could start writing JavaScript. JavaScript is a C-based language. It was named JavaScript because Java had just come out and they wanted to, people to use it. So they named it JavaScript and stole the name Java. It's kind of like making a product called an Isaac and you know, you're just riding off of the success of Apple, for instance. Um, it's not strictly typed. It's a really, really simple language to use and it gives us zero notice when we have an error. So that's going to be kind of a pain to troubleshoot. Um, but in, ev in every other way, it's, it's very similar to Java, and you'll see some similarities there. In order to write an alert box, we just write alert. And you'll notice that looks like a function, function call, right? And inside of it, inside of parentheses, we're going to say, ayo. JavaScript can either have semicolons at the end or not. So if you're used to programming in PHP or in um, Java, you're used to having semicolons. Um, but you could leave them off if you want, but I'm guessing that we're going to keep them on just because it's something that we're used to. Now, if I flip back over to the browser and I open this up, watch carefully what happens. When I go to this page, my alert message pops up before the page loads. So if I go back and I refresh this and I click alert, notice that the alert message pops up before the page loads. If I take my JavaScript and I move this script from the head and I cut it and put it down right before the closing of the body tag and I try this again, so I refresh my page, I click on alert. Notice that the whole page displays in the background and then the alert box pops up. So what do you think is going to happen if I do a script tag in between my H1 and my paragraph? What we're guessing is going to happen is that this will show up and then the script and then this. And let's go ahead and try it. We'll go back to a fresh page here, click on alert. 
And notice that the H1 pops up the message and then when I click OK, the rest of it. So when is an alert box helpful? An alert box is helpful when you really, really want to make sure that the user wants to do what they're doing. Gmail uses an alert box when you're about to exit a page and you haven't saved the draft. Um, when you're about to delete something and it gives you a warning message and it wants to give you an extra warning message, the alert message is, is great for doing that. Now, we could also take this alert message and put it in a different file. All right? So if we're writing JavaScript and we know that if we put it up here, it'll display before the page loads. And if we put it here, it'll display halfway through the page load. And if we put it here, it'll display after the page loads. Where do you think we want to keep our JavaScript to start with? after the page loads is the correct answer smartest students in the world represent. So what we're going to do though is because we don't want our script to appear right in here, we're going to change the script tag a little bit. And here's the way we're going to change it. Notice that we still have the same script tag but there's nothing in between it and because there's nothing in between it I actually brought this closing script tag up to the same line and we added an attribute which is the same as the um, when we're working with images which is called the source attribute and then we put in the name of the file that we're gonna link to right. our next step would be create an alert.js file and then save in that alert and then your message that you want to do and see if that works. I'm going to jump ahead and start working on that, but you guys work on your own. Create a new file called alert.js. Make sure that it's completely empty. And then just write alert. We're going to up load both those to the servers and it is working so in our first little demo with with JavaScript what we've done is we've learned how to add it to the page using either a script tag that has the the code in between the opening and closing script tag or we link to another file and either way, what we've done is some sweet, sweet behavior, which is popping up an annoying text box um, that displays a message that you have to cancel out to move on with the page. And there you have it.